It's the new health drink from Central Asia, served fresh or fermented. Kazakh camel milk is making a big push out of the desert steps and onto the store shelves. Just born, this baby camel is finding its feet. In the first hour of life, it will learn to stand, and then it will take a long drink of milk from its mother. It's little surprise that camel milk seems to be the drink of choice for nursing Bactrians. The young calves live off their mother's protein-loaded milk for five years during their entire period of growth and until they become a fully mature camel. Nomadic tribes along the Kazakh-Chinese border have milked camels for centuries but now a group of Kazakh farmers and entrepreneurs are working to turn this desert tradition into a commercial drink. The Agromerka farms have been feeding up and milking down camels for years. This particular herd of 600 two-humped camels now produces about 1,500 litres or 375 gallons per day. Farm director Yasengali Baimatov opened his farm in 1996 at a time when traditional camel milk herders were moving out of the business and selling off their camels for meat. Now Baimanov owns over 3,000 heads of camel and says he is now looking beyond the local markets and toward international sales. Kazakh producers sell camel milk in bottles so that it can be drunk straight, just like cow or goat milk. But if that seems too bland, there's always strawberry-flavoured camel yoghurt to try as well. Rather than shying away customers by the perhaps too exotic image of camel milk, Kazakh producers are trying to use its Central Asian identity as part of its appeal. At Almaty Kazakh's Ul restaurant, Fermented camel milk is served to groups of foreign tourists in traditional dishes and under traditional nomadic tents. And if none of these marketing techniques work, the producers can always fall back on the same arguments used for garlic, Brussels sprouts and buckwheat grass. It's good for you. The president of Kazakhstan's Academy of Nutrition says that shubat, the fermented camel milk, can be particularly healthy. Shubat's health appeal accounts for much of its sales within the domestic market, though it does have a small percentage of alcohol, about 1.5% on average, it is also bought up and served at state children's camps, meeting with unsolicited testimonials from local kids. Kazakh producers hope for international markets, but their immediate future might depend on whether this generation of children decides to keep drinking Shabbat. For now at least, the camel herds that used to dominate the steppes of Kazakhstan are gradually returning, as long as the camel milk business grows as well.